All right, I don't do review videos most of the time, but um, in this particular case, I just bought a new item and it impressed me enough uh, and got my attention enough um, to where I think I have some things to say. So I'm gonna say them. Um, and I don't work for Craftsman or anything, okay? I just, I've had this thing a day, but I just bought um, this Craftsman stick vacuum. And I've had the Dyson for a while. So I'm gonna do a little head-to-head -head comparison as to why I think the Craftsman is superior in every way. Um, first of all, Memorial Day sale at Lowe's, the Craftsman, I just picked it up for 149. Everything else in the world, including bacon right now, is just draining my kid's college fund. But the somehow the Craftsman stick vacuum is just giving and giving and giving. And it's so cheap. When I bought this, uh, and I'm not exactly sure, but I think it was close to $500. Shame on you. Why? Uh, because I'll tell you why. <laughs> all right. So uh, let me tell you why. First of all, uh, the first thing I noticed, one hour runtime. I'm lucky if I get 15 minutes out of the Dyson. Um, that was a little better when it was new, but it's not doing well. And when this battery goes out, I don't even know what to do. I mean, it's in there. It's probably replaceable. But again, back to Craftsman. They're a power tool company. Um, and so, boom, you just get another battery. But to put that in perspective, the power tools I have with these kind of batteries, some of them are 15 years old and those battery packs are still performing. So great idea, awesome thing. And I know they're not the only company to do that, but I just love that they're a power tool company because again, um, look, at the, look at the grade of materials and plastics on this. This thing's made to take a fall, right? just like a power tool. The Dyson, uh, not so much, looks fragile, okay? And the Craftsman, I think, will stay tight like a power tool, like it's just it just feels solid, right? Whereas I've always hated that the Dyson just feels like You know, it's just, um, eh, you know, it just doesn't feel like it's super high quality. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't vacuum well, it, it does. So we'll get back to that. Okay, next, <laughs> loving the canister and how you empty the Craftsman. Um, so smart. This comes out, it dumps on the bottom, releases, and then the filter um, rotates off the top. What that means is there's no part of the system you can't access or blow it out with a ho uh, an air hose or flush it with water, which by the way, the Craftsman is like a wet dry vac, whereas the Dyson, I would never try <laughs> getting that thing wet in any way, shape or form. Next, um, I mean, I can go on and on. The the Dyson, I, th I think it came with accessories, but they're gone, uh, probably in a closet somewhere. Um, the Craftsman, however, neat and tidy, right? Two usable accessories piggybacking right on the stick and they're solid and they don't get in your way. Awesome. Next, the Craftsman, as opposed to the Dyson with no lights, the Craftsman LED headlights. Let me tell you why that's important. So I got this thing last night. I was at my sister's. They have cats and a dog and I'm doing their hard floor in the basement. I missed spots, she has a Dyson. I missed all kinds of cat hair and dog hair with the Dyson, but the Craftsman, it it illuminated it with those LEDs. So anything you're trying to vacuum up on the floor surface is gonna glow um, with those lights. That's a big deal. Uh, next, <laughs> it's Ute Red Goat Utes. Next, um, oh, I'm saving one for last, but the uh, it's got two speeds. There's more, uh, let me see, I, there were one, a couple more things I wanted to say about it. But are you getting the point? I mean, 
I'm getting nothing out of this. I just think the the fact that it's doing all those things and it's so well thought out and it was 149 and the Dyson was almost 500. That's why I'm doing a review video for like the first time. Finally, you've been watching it the whole time. Are you noticing the Craftsman stands up on its own? How many times, if you're a Dyson owner, have you leaned the Dyson against a couch or a wall to grab a pillow off the floor and it just crumbles to the floor or it falls? And I mean, how many times has that frustrated you? I know it frustrates me. To get it to lean on the island like that, it took me a minute, right? <laughs> it just did not want to stay. Um, if it's not in its holder, it's falling. I mean, I, it's just the, the Dyson will not stand up on its own. So in a head-to-head -head competition for features and reliability, for quality and feel, for uh, just everything. Oh, oh, I remember. I'm sorry. You can tell I don't do review videos. There's one more thing. When I try to vacuum hard floors with the Dyson, the rotary, especially if I'm using the rotary, which, you know, that's how you get the better suction higher uh, RPMs, the, um, it's throwing shrapnel everywhere, crumbs, they're just flying. And so it takes forever to try to vacuum stuff off a hard floor. But the I just swept this entire floor with the Craftsman and I, nothing flew out from under the vacuum because it has like, it seals it down. And so you don't lose anything. Um, it swept the floor as well as a broom. And that's cool. I mean, even in the corners. So. Once again, shame on you, Dyson. Uh, craftsman's kicking your butt. And I'm really stoked about this.